Welcome back to our MBRS Talk 1 Part 2 on Guts to Improve Mental Health Dissecting the Relationship Between Gut Microbiome and Depression For Part 2 of this video, we will discuss the Gut Microbiome Intervention for Prevention and the Treatment of Depression Without further ado, let us dive into Part 2 of this talk Gut microbiome dysbiosis may play a role in the development of depression. Considering the emerging evidence on the role of microbiome in depression, it is not surprising that the gut microbiome is now being targeted to mediate beneficial brain effects. And by the modification of gut microbiome composition, this may emerge as a potential new therapeutic approach for treatment or dep of depression or alleviating mood disorders. Dietary manipulation through the introduction of probiotics is one of the approaches to modify our gut microbiome. These are some examples of clinical trials that have been conducted throughout these years. And as observed, most of these studies have utilized the beneficial bacteria from the general lactobacillus and bifidobacterium as probiotics. The effects of probiotics on thoughts associated with sad mood and depression were evaluated in individuals with different health conditions, such as those with a major depressive disorder and also non-depressed, as well as non-depressed healthy individuals. Overall, uh, from these two studies, we can see that uh, multi-species probiotics have shown to improve the depressive symptoms in uh, major depressive disorder patients as well as uh, reduce negative thoughts associated with sad mood in those uh, non-depressed individuals. Furthermore, uh, patients with irritable bowel syndromes, IBD, were also given probiotics. And interestingly, they found that this had brought upon beneficial effects on their psychiatric comorbidities. The depression score were also reduced in this patient after receiving probiotics. Research also shows that probiotics may be useful for prevention or treatments of symptoms of postpartum depression and anxiety. Next is the application of fecal microbiota transplantation. So this procedure is actually relatively uh, new and it has been gaining the attention of uh, researchers around the world. However, uh, more studies are yet to be done to actually evaluate evaluate the uh, potential use of uh, FMT on the treatments of depression. Based on the current findings, uh, we can see that probiotics might offer as a useful novel ther therapeutic approach or as an adjunct therapies for depression. Nevertheless, uh, it is important to determine the type of strains, the dosing and duration to ensure effective treatment. Well, there are several proposed mechanisms of action of probiotics uh, on improving our mental health via the microbiota gut-brain axis. The administration of probiotics, prebiotics or FMT aims to introduce beneficial microbes into the gut. These bacteria will secrete various microbial effectors such as the short-chain fatty acids, the trichats and microbial associated molecular patterns, MEMS, the short-chain fatty acids are produced when the gut microbiome ferments host indigestible carbohydrates, whereas the triclates are produced by metabolizing dietary tryptophan. In general, the presence of these effectors helps to maintain immune and intestinal homeostasis, strengthen intestinal barrier integrity of epithelial colon cells, and thus decrease the gut permeability. With a stronger intestinal barrier, this essentially prevents endotoxin from entering the blood circulation and thereby results in reduced mood altering inflammation. Besides the vaginus, vagus nerve also communicates with the gut epithelium, including the enteroendocrine cells, to exert antidepressive effects. This is another figure illustrating the communication of microbiota gut brain acids through the three main pathway, which is the immune pathway, uh, and the HPA acids, the hypothalamus pituitary acids, and the vagus nerve system. So in the left side of the screen, the one in the green, 
As you can see, consumption of probiotics helps in protection of the gut microbiota and the mucous layer, and this results in an anti-inflammatory environment. For instance, uh, probiotics can promote expression of anti-inflammatory cytokines, such as the interleukin-10 in macrophages, and enhance the anti-inflammatory activity of tract regulatory cells here. And besides, uh, the vagus stimulation has also been son shown to induce uh, dopamine release, which is a neurotransmitter that mediates the uh, pressure in the brain. In the right side of the screen here, this is in the case of gut dysbiosis. This could induce the loss of uh, mucosal integrity, leading to the infiltration of harmful substances such as bacteria lipopolysaccharides and resulting in a pro-inflammatory environment. Depressive symptoms are often underlined by increased levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines and decreased level of anti-inflammatory cytokines. As a summary for today's presentation, the finding in this case that gut microbiome is associated with the development of depression and probiotics can be a novel approach for this debilitating mental disorder through the modification of gut microbiome that aims to balance and restore, restore the composition of gut microbiota to a more favorable state. Colonization of good bacteria helps in neuroprotection or increase anti-inflammatory or immunoregulatory signaling through the microbiota gut brain assay, which involve in the three main pathways as mentioned earlier. So to end today's presentation, I would like to share with you this image to remind you that gut bacteria is guiding the workings of our mind. With this, I conclude my presentation. Thank you very much for your time.